morning everybody and boy it's a good morning for me because this is my very first segment partnering with my favorite local supermarket shop and save and i gotta tell you something i love shop and save for a multitude of reasons but two of them are because of the brands that they carry that i love essential every day this is their brand of products and they are superior and i love the price the other one is their wild harvest brand again terrific brand low price quality superb so let's get started by making our essential everyday bacon cheddar sliders and the first thing we have to do is make the mix and what i have here is some lean ground beef. There's about 20% fat left in here. So you want a little bit of fat because fat tastes good when you're grilling the burgers and makes them nice and juicy. So I have a pound of that here and that I'm going to now season with some salt and pepper. And I'm going to add to this garlic powder and I'm going to also add onion powder to this. And at this point, what I want to do is I really need to get my gloves on because I'm going to need all of this together and this is really important incorporating this on your burger your little sliders that you really get this incorporated well so you're going to have to put your gloves on and get down and dirty with this kids just get in there and mix this up and really make sure that everything is completely kneaded in and it's okay to you know pound it down a little bit with a fist, I find that helps. Now this will yield 12 sliders. And you wanna start off with, it's like a little, sort of a golf ball. Well, I guess I don't golf, but I think that's bigger than a golf ball. But that's the size that you want. And then repeat this process 12 more times. Well, here they are. They are all formed and they are ready to go. And I preheated my grill. And of course, you can do this outside if you want. But if you want, you can do them inside, but you want to make sure you're using a good grill pan. And I'm going to allow them to grill on one side for about two to three minutes before I flip them. Two to three minutes has passed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my sliders. And I want them to grill a little more before I add my barbecue sauce and ultimately my cheese. Now the burgers are not quite cooked all the way through, but the next thing I want to do is top each burger with a little bit of my barbecue sauce. And again, this is the essential everyday hickory smoke barbecue sauce that I'm using today because I love the flavor of this sauce. People used to tell me, that I like to have a little bit of burger with my sauce. I'm one of those dippers. I love barbecue sauce, and this one is yummy. And the next ingredient is cheddar cheese. And once again, this comes packaged from Shop and Save. And you can do a Colby Jack, or you can do a cheddar. And the, this is the essential everyday packaging, again, that you want to look for, along with the bacon which you want to make sure that you cook ahead. So I'm just going to top all of these little sliders with my cheese, and I'm going to put a lid on this, and if you're outside grilling, just lower the lid of your grill because you want your cheese to melt. Okay, folks, here's the big reveal. Take your slider, put it right on your slider roll, and then we'll top it with some bacon, serve it up with our fries, and I use the zesty fries today, and I bake them in the oven. And you've got yourself a mini feast. Well, I'm Rainya Harris. That's what's cooking from Shop and Save. Love you, miss you, and bon appetit. Looks good. Yeah, bon appetit. You know, anytime it's miniature, my kids love it. Why is that? I don't know. It's like but so I guess cute that. if it's little. I, I, it's I, I feel that way too, though. Yeah. Like, I'm already for sliders. Yeah. That would be great. 
And for a copy of today's recipe, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com because we have it posted right there for you.